Good morning. It is 6.30 a.m., the best time of the day, and today I'm up nice and early because I live off campus, which means I commute to UBC. So today I'm going to show you what my life is like since I'm busing every day. I'll share some resources that help me make my life easier and also some of my thoughts on commuting. So today my first class is Physics 157, which starts at 9 a.m. So usually my commute time is around like an hour, 20 minutes, hour and a half, something like that. But I actually like to leave quite a bit earlier because I find that the extra time is always handy. So it's pretty dark right now, but um, right now I'm walking to the bus stop. I have to change multiple buses to get to UBC, so this is just my first one. So that marks the very beginning of my bus route. I would say that around 7 to 9 a.m. is a pretty busy time for the bus stops and SkyTrain stations, but I learned pretty quickly that like the wait time isn't really a problem because the buses come more often during those times. So even if you're taking the bus, the time you arrive at school is still like pretty consistent. So then, I got to my local bus loop, and this is where I take my bus that goes directly to UBC. And as you can see, with the number of people who have 9am classes, the line can get pretty long. So that's one of the reasons why I personally like to get up a little bit earlier than I have to. So if the bus in front of me is super crowded, I can just wait for the next one and get a seat instead of having to stand. So this is a pretty long bus ride. So some people like to study or read, and this can be a really good use of your time. But yeah, not me. I get motion sickness, so I kind of just relax, enjoy the view, and listen to some music. And I don't know if this is weird, but I actually really enjoy the long bus ride. Since I'm pretty busy with studying lots of the time, my commute is one of the only times of the day when I don't have to use my brain, so I think it's a really good time to rest. So right now I'm at UBC's bus loop, and this is where a lot of the buses that come to UBC stop. And it's pretty close to the middle of campus, so it's not too far from everything else. But I think it's still important to consider how long it takes to walk through classes because UBC's campus is pretty big. two courses so I'm actually done for the day but today I'm actually going to wait for my friend and we're going to bus together so that leads me to my next tip which is that it's really nice to travel with a friend especially I think it's a really good way to um, stay connected with your friends from high school because chances are you live close to them and you'll have the same bus route oh no <laughs> look who I what? found <laughs> what are you doing? Hello. so I'm here with my friend Gabe so he's a commuter as well, so do you want to share some of your thoughts on commuting? Well, for me, I have to take like two buses and also a SkyTrain to get all the way to UBC and back. Um, for me, it's completely okay so far. Um, it, it gets me more motivated to wake up on time mm -hmm. uh, compared to high school where I always wanted to not wake up. But mm -hmm. for some reason, when I go to UBC, it's more motivation. So yeah, yeah I really like it. Mm -hmm. So now, finally, I'm back home. I remember during my first like one or two weeks at UBC, as soon as I got home, I would just like flop off my bed. I would be like lights out. I didn't want to do any work because I was just so tired. So if you're in high school right now and you're just used to like walking a couple minutes to get to school, it might be pretty difficult at first just spending so much time away from home. So when it comes to choosing between living on res and commuting, I think that something that people are pretty concerned about is, of course, how early you have to wake up if you're commuting. But at least in my experience, I think that that's something that's really easy to adjust to when you learn to manage your time and energy levels. So in the end, I'm glad I stayed at home and chose to commute rather than living on campus because it was the best choice in terms of cost and it's always just so nice to have my personal space and privacy which makes things a lot less distracting. And of course, since I'm living at home, I get to see the people and the animals that I love every day. So that's it for a day in my life. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or you can message us on Instagram. See you later!